Hi everyone, welcome back to Brown Bear Week. Today we are going to be talking about numbers, patterns, and counting. I have a few activities I'm going to show you and then I'm going to send them to you along with this video so that you can do them at home. So first of all, I have a brown picture of brown bear with the numbers one to 10 at the top. So let's practice our numbers to start off. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now let's count how many animals are in the brown bear story. So we have a brown bear, a red bird, a yellow duck, a blue horse, a green frog, a purple cat, a white dog, a black sheep, and a goldfish. So now let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine animals in this story. So I'm going to send you this picture of brown bear with all the numbers so you can practice. Another activity you can do with this is you can cut along all the lines and you can practice counting that way or you can put it all together like a puzzle. Put the numbers in order and then you're making your very own brown bear puzzle and you can practice that over and over again. Next, we're gonna talk about patterns. So here we have a worksheet that I will send to you. And it goes bear, brown bear, red bird, brown bear, red bird. So now we have to pick out of one of these, which goes next in the pattern. If you guessed brown bear, you're right. So we can glue or put brown bear right there. In our next pattern, we have blue horse, yellow duck, blue horse. So what do you think goes next? If you guessed yellow duck, you're right. And that goes right there. Next, we have goldfish, green frog, goldfish. Finally, green frog. So now our pattern is brown bear, red bird, brown bear, red bird, brown bear. Blue horse, yellow duck, blue horse, yellow duck, goldfish, green frog, goldfish, green frog. That's an excellent way to practice patterns. And finally, we have a counting sheet. So all the children, the teachers, the animals are all mixed up on these sheets. And then down here at the bottom, you can count and find out how many there are up top. So we'll just do one so I can show you and then you can practice at home. So we'll pick out how many goldfish. So let's count all the goldfish together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we just write eight right there in the goldfish pile. So that's something that you can help your kids do practice their counting and you can erase it if you want and keep trying. So I'm gonna forward all these activities for you to do at home. Have fun counting, see you next time.